I need to do an oil change on my um, Tornado GR4. I always forget how to open the hood. It's one of these, but I, I, I always forget which. I can do it. I can do it later. I can do it. Let's talk about this new watch. It's pretty hot. Welcome back to Bark and Jack. I am Adrian, and today we are checking out a watch that's slightly different, but a little bit the same. This is by IWC, but it's not just IWC. This has been created in partnership with Collective Horology. If you listen to Houdinki Radio, then you've probably heard of Collective. They are a watch community based in California, Silicon Valley, California, and it was started by two watch guys, Asher and Gabe, but they do something slightly differently. They create limited edition watches and they're pretty good at it. This watch is to mark the expansion of Collective outside of California. They are now branching out to London, the UK, and so people can now join the community. And when you become a member of Collective, you then have access to buy the Collective limited edition watches. Or a better way to describe it is the watches are offered to the members first and then they're offered to the public. The specs of this watch are slightly different from the normal pilot's chronograph that IWC do. We have a 41 millimeter wide case. It's 14.5 millimeters thick, so it's quite a chunky beast. And it has 100 meters of water resistance. Although being a chronograph, I wouldn't suggest going swimming with it because it only takes for one push of one of the pushes and uh, the watch won't be very happy. The dial is a matte black and the thing that they've changed and what I absolutely love about this is how everything that would normally be white on this watch has been toned back and is gray. And I'm a big fan of gray. It makes this watch feel a bit more purposeful. IWC chronographs are purposeful anyway. They're, they're, a very, they're built with purpose. That's the whole point of them being pilot's watches. But it feels just a bit more tactical. It feels a bit more military with it being subdued. Arguably, it does make it slightly harder to read, um, although the hands are highly polished and so they do stand out against the black dial. But there's less of a contrast between grey and black compared to white and black. The loom is also grey, which is interesting. It does look cool and it is different. Another little touch, which I love. This has a German date wheel, which I think is cool. Again, another little touch of difference. It just makes the watch just that little bit more interesting. The case has a horizontal satin brush finish on the side and on the top it has a radial brush finish as well. I love the very, very tiny high polished chamfer that is on this case. It's so subtle. That little attention to detail really elevates the watch. IWC always brag about how well finished their movements are, but they often hide them. I want to see it and here we can see it. You'll notice that there is a black rotor that's in line with the very monochrome front of the watch. The finish of the movement is as nice as what IWC advertised it as. I do complain about how deep chronographs are, but then when you flip over and look at um, how deep the movement is, it's quite nice kind of just seeing a city of cogs in the back kind of makes up for the thickness of the watch. It is a chunky watch. There's no two ways about it, but I think because it's a low contrast dial, the watch doesn't stand out as it normally would. I really appreciate how Collective haven't plastered the logo over the watch. It's, it's still an IWC watch, just with Collective's creative touch applied to it, as opposed to we're going to try and rebrand something as ours. It's very much IWC, just with slight tweaks to it. There's going to be 125 of these, and you can only get them through Collective Horology. If you want to learn more about this watch or about how to become a member, jump over to collectivehorology.com. Guys, what do you think of this IWC Collective collaboration? <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I have to tape a little flat LED light in the... I can't point to it. I can't control my hand. I have to tape a little uh, flat LED light in my light, because I haven't got a light bulb for it yet, <laughs> and I want to highlight the... Little cameras down here. Secrets out. Scared the shit out of me, that did. What's it talking about? Guys, let me know what you think about this IWC and collective collaboration. I really am quite surprised at how, how nice this is, just with those slight tweaks. Guys, drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you like the style of this video, then hit the subscribe button and that little bell icon so you get notifications when I drop a new video. If you want to check out our watch straps and watch accessories, this would look really good on a grey NATO strap. 
I'm not going to do it because I don't want to scratch your case, but that would look hot on a great NATO strap. If you want to check out watch straps and watch accessories, jump over to BarkandJack.com. If you're on Instagram, give me a follow at BarkandJack, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.